Hi everyone and welcome to And So On Knitting Edition. Today I am going to do a knitting podcast and I know that a lot of you following me just for the sewing so if you don't want to watch this don't worry I won't be offended but I'm really really inspired by my knitting these days and I think that what inspires me is what comes through in my videos and so um, don't worry I'm definitely not finished sewing I've got lots going on upstairs but I haven't updated you in my knitting and I actually have quite a lot to show. So if you're new here, thanks so much for coming by. I hope that you subscribe. I love to watch all the knitting podcasts that are out there and hopefully I can provide a little bit of inspiration. If you've been following me for a long time, thank you so much. And uh, please do give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying and I'd love to hear all of what you have going on in your knitting or your making or whatever in the comments below. So welcome to 2019. I actually had planned to do a video probably four or five days ago while we were at our cottage and then our modem died. And you would think like, you know, your modem dies, you go buy another one, but there was no place to buy a modem. Apparently a router is really easy to get and that's something that you can buy pretty much anywhere, but the modem generally comes from whoever your internet service provider is. And so if it breaks, you have to go back to them. And clearly it was the Christmas holidays. And so we had some, like we weren't totally cut off. <laughs> we had some internet from our phones, um, but not enough to upload a video. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just knit, knit, knit instead. And I did, and actually because of that, I actually don't have any works in progress to show you. I just have a few finished objects to show you. So the first one, I literally just finished finished now let me stand up so you can see this is the Espastrico turtle dove and this is a free pattern on the Espastrico website and I'm gonna put some pictures in for you to see as well because um, clearly this isn't like the best place to show um, uh, the coloring and that kind of thing but it's two-tone and it's a boxy um, usually it's done with bulky yarn. This is Aran, which is, you know, close. And uh, it's got a lovely twisted rib turtleneck. Um, well, it, you're, you're twisting the, the, the knits on this. So maybe that's called half twisted rib. I'm not even sure. Um, and it's got three quarter length sleeves. So I generally don't like three quarter length sleeves. I generally find that if I want to wear a sweater, my arms are going to get cold. However, I decided to trust the designer because I love Melissa from Espastrico and I thought I'm going to, I love her style. She's very clean and modern and contemporary. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this a try. So this is actually my first adult sweater for me. I made one sweater for Audrey and actually I have that to show you guys. Um, and that was in a women's extra small, but this is the first sweater I've knit for myself. So I feel like I'm all grows up in knitting terms and uh, and now it's on to sweaters and when I get to my plans I have three sweaters planned to come up so yeah I love this it's made of drops air so you might remember maybe in my first knitting podcast I showed you so these are the two colors in drops air and drops air is 75% um, alpaca and then I think like 20 I don't know 22% poly mead and then the rest merino. So um, it's mostly alpaca with a little bit of wool and like polyamide. So it's got this kind of marl texture. This one's blowing out a bit, but it's also a bit marled and um, really fast and quick to knit up. I got this on Facebook from somebody who was selling stuff, which is why I ended up with two-tone because she had um, three of the gray and three of the white. And I ended up going through, so I made the size small and I actually only used two and a half, this is actually almost a full ball, so I, I used about two and a quarter balls of the black and, um, and about two balls of the white. So really, you could pretty much do this in four balls for the smallest sizes, and you could definitely do it in five if you're just you know doing it in one color. But I actually love the two-tone. I think it's kind of fun and makes a change. And actually, when I was on Ravelry looking at all the versions, I didn't see anyone who did a two-tone. So there you go, maybe I've, invited, I've invented something new, the two-tone turtle dove. I'm gonna get a ring to it. So overall, I love this. Um, I do expect that, like I literally just finished it, you guys. <laughs> half an hour ago. You guys were the inspiration for me to finish it today because, you know, once you get onto Sleeve Island, you're like, dum 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 you get a little bored and I almost cast something on instead. I'm like, no, 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 finish it and then you can wear it for your video. So um, I, I do really like it and I feel like when I block it and when it has time to kind of relax, these arms will come down just a bit. Like I would like them to be here. Um, and I think like even when I yank on them a bit, you know, they come down a bit more. And of course, I do have 
lots of yarn left but this is I decided to trust Melissa and I used her dimensions and I did actually add one extra inch because I do have long arms so I added one extra inch of ribbing but um, yeah so I love 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 this sweater so another thing I finished is this sweater for my daughter Audrey and again I'll put some photos in but this is made from Knit Crate and this was I think the November Knit Crate and if you'll remember I think I showed it to you guys last time it has some Stellina in it and it doesn't really show much on camera but it has a bit of a shine to it not overwhelming like to the point that you go well, I can only wear this at Christmas like you could pretty much wear it whenever um, but it does have a little bit of a shine to it and I love this color so I did this for Audrey just before Christmas I also did it very quickly like this sweater I did in five days um, yeah five days flat now it's the holidays I don't have other other things to do other commitments I was just you know in a knit hole listening to podcasts and books on tape so on a regular week that probably wouldn't be possible but um, this I finished in about a week it's the women's extra small and it's on blueprint this is also a great first sweater if you are looking and it's the my first seamless sweater by Wendy Bernard and um, yeah, so and I basically followed this almost exactly. I think what I did was I took maybe four stitches off the cast off because you know Audrey's only 12 and she does wear extra small clothes, but I just wanted to make it a tiny bit smaller. Um, but yeah, I was really pleased with this and it kind of inspired me to give this sweater a try. And then lastly, well, actually that's not true. I also made um, another pair of socks for my best friend and I can't show them to you because I already gave them to her, but they're very similar to the other Leo and Roxy um, uh, socks that I made, except I flip-flopped the, um, like the colors. So instead of the ends being um, in one color, I just flipped it. So I'll put the picture of the ones that I put in um, and I made these ones longer. So she loved those and I also used, so this was my knit crate from December and it's like this super bulky great color and so uh, night before I thought oh I want to I want to do something a little bit more for her and so I made her a hat and I'll put in a picture of the hat and I use loosely used a pattern on making things or really loosely and then just improvised a <laughs> not particularly successful cable um, but again if you don't knit you wouldn't notice it's just kind of got a little bit of a, a ripple in there and then someone had asked me to replace a pom-pom on a hat that they had they had a fancy pom-pom and they wanted to replace the pom-pom that the hat came with and so um, I did that for her and she's like well keep the old pom-pom I'm not gonna do anything with it so I added it to Sarah's hat so yeah so I used this and this knit crate came with this um, magazine and every month when you get the knit crate, it I have a few more of them to show you because it's been a while. <laughs> um, they come with different patterns and um, you know different things you can do with the yarn. So I'm going to make a cowl for Sarah, my best friend, to go with the hat because she after I gave it to her, she said I just bought a, a, a coat in Paris that is this color and so she was it just kind of worked out really serendipitously and so I'm going to make up a little um, a little cowl or maybe or maybe just a fold over small um, scarf I don't know maybe that'll be better I'll see what she prefers um, in this okay so those are my finished objects and I have been doing the hashtag blame Dunder knit along and if you guys watch Dunder knit I've been watching her since the beginning she just happened to show up in my feed when she first started and um, she was very sweet enough to give me a shout out uh, on her uh, blog or vlog not long ago and uh, I'll link her below in case you guys haven't seen but given how quickly she's gaining subscribers I'm pretty sure most of you have um, and she's just super fun and, and uh, very prolific and, and fun to watch and so that's actually why I started this because it, the blame under the along is basically take some of that gorgeous wool that you've been dying to do something with or maybe a pattern and you need to go buy some treat yourself to some yarn etc etc um, just go and do it and blame her for not getting the things done that you need to get done or the, the dent in your pocketbook or putting aside something you were making for something else or whatever or for someone else I should say so um, so this was for that as well as the pair of socks that I made for myself and I am actually wearing a pair of handmade socks I'll take one off to show you I am wearing these ones um, that which were the Hohi Locatelli oh no these no these are the um, uh, Sweet Georgia 
tough love sock not this part but this part and um, it was one of their free patterns on their site it's a bit big this is when I was still figuring out what needle size I needed to use for sock yarn but I have to say this this is still I think my favorite sock yarn this tough love because it's the most soft it's the most one that I'm very comfortable wearing just against my feet sometimes with my handmade socks I want to wear like a pair of regular store-bought socks underneath and then wear them on top for warmth but these ones as well as the Leo and Roxy ones um, I can just wear against my skin so acquisitions now I have to tell you guys that um, one of my goals for 2019 is to live stashily <laughs> live from my stash both in sewing and in knitting and that doesn't mean that I'm on a full don't buy anything ever but I'm definitely not buying things without a purpose or a plan and I already have now because of Christmas quite a few things and so I am not going to be getting any new wool for the moment however I do get the knit crate every month as an ambassador of theirs um, they send me some and then also I tend to get one or other of the other crates just because they're such a great deal and I love the I love the yarn so you will be seeing those um, but I'm gonna try not to get too much however I do have some beautiful stuff to show you now so let me start with the knit crate really fast um, this knit crate is from last month uh, from December and oh it's got a big hair on it nice um, and this is their artisan crate sock yarn and it's called a hundred Ravens is the name it's uh, merino and nylon 100 grams superwash yarn and just really pretty and really soft and I'm looking forward to making a pair of socks with that it came in here and it has this has another you know list of patterns that you can do and they give you patterns every month and it came with a little Christmas card and then I don't know where it is too but it also came with a little pin so they throw in like little little things and whatever anyway I've linked them up below um, with my discount code if you if you want to give it a try but I have to say I'm just loving every month getting these beautiful things and then halfway through the month they put whatever's left on well if you remember I think it's like 30% or 40% off even so that's how I got this so this is from critical sheep yarn which is a an indie dyer because um, they also carry indie dyers so this is critical sheep and the color is called ambush and you can maybe see that it's got different greens and browns and little hints um, here's one wound up which is awesome and what I'm gonna do with this is I am going to make a sweater from Nitty McPurley, Devon, and it's called the, oh crap, what's it called? The Inverness Pullover. <laughs> I knew it was something like that. The Inverness Pullover, and I'll put in a picture of that. I got that when she first launched it, and uh, I just thought it was so cute, and because of the, the big Black Friday sale that, um, they, they had on Knit Crate. I got five skeins of this, I think for $40. And so um, I've wound up to, I have swatched. That was actually going to be my Boxing Day cast on. And then I just wanted something that I didn't have to think about that was really easy. This sweater is just, it's just so, so easy. I could just sit with my husband and watch Top Chef and, and knit. Whereas this Inverness one, it's not super difficult, um, but there are some things that I'm just gonna have to pay attention to. And so this is next. So this is coming on maybe, maybe tonight, we'll see. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what to show you guys next. Um, after Christmas, so I just taught another, one of my other very dearest best friends um, to knit. So she had been watching me knit and she actually suffers from a, um, a condition that she has very low energy a lot of the time. And once she was watching me knit and she said, oh, I'd love to do that, but I wonder if it would make me really tired. And I was like, no, I don't think so. I think, I think it'd be great. Like it's actually very zen. I find knitting very zen. <laughs> just dropped the yarn very zen and very relaxing and so um, I <laughs> I brought over some yarn that I already had um, and some needles I already had and basically I, I cast on a cowl for her like just a simple turtle like a uh, neck warmer and I shot I showed her how to do a knit stitch in the round so I cast it on I, I joined it in the round and then I just showed her how to do a knit stitch I was like just keep doing this around and around and around and when you're almost done yarn call me and I'll cast off for you so I did that for her twice <laughs> brought her more yarn the second time and uh, actually the second time I sent her a, a video on how to cast off herself so now she can 
can she can cast on she can sorry no she can't cast on yet she can knit and she can cast off so I've sent her a video on how to cast on and how to purl because we are going to do together another espastrico pattern and it's called I should have prepared this in advance hang on it's called the Getting Warmer Cowl, and um, I'll put in a picture of it here. Again, a free pattern. Most of their patterns are free. They have a new collection, the Chalet collection, that costs you know a nominal amount, but most of their patterns are free, and they're very contemporary. They're very cool. They're very um, chic, uh, really great patterns. So they, I, I bought some of this wool folk yarn. So actually, this turtle dove was originally made in this wool folk yarn, Luft, wool folk Luft yarn. And um, on Boxing Day, um, one of the local yarn shops called U Knit, E W E, U Knit, um, was having 20% off. And so I ordered it online and then went and picked it up. And so I got this beautiful wool folk Luft for 20% off. This is the color L9. Their colors don't have names, they're just numbers. Um, but isn't that pretty? Can you see? Can you see the sort of webbing that the that the yarn goes through and it's very very light so it's got a similar feel to this um, different composition I don't think this has I don't think this has um, alpaca in it I think it's just wool um, I think I have to look that up so this is merino and cotton as opposed to this which is alpaca and wool so it is very different um, very soft 55% merino, 45% cotton. And uh, yeah, so I decided to go in the limb a little bit because of course all I wanted to do was get gray and black. <laughs> but um, I got this lovely wine color. I think it'll be flattering on me and I'm going to make that cowl. So this was sort of a, an after Christmas gift to myself and my friend Sonia that I was just telling you about who I'm teaching to knit, she's gonna learn to do that as well. And so she also got herself three skeins. Hers are in three different colors of blue. And hopefully when she's done, she'll let me take a picture and show you guys. While I was there, I also got this Manos de Uruguay. Uh, this is Alegria. And uh, again, it's a sock yarn. And I just thought, oh my gosh, the best. I just, I love having socks on the go because I just find I wear a sweater once or twice a week at most. Um, I wear socks every day. So I like having socks. And actually I was gonna, um, I was going to uh, wind this today. <laughs> I was gonna wind this today and I decided to wait so I could show it to you all, you know, wrapped up and gnarled and yummy. So this is that. I also went to uh, a local shop in Trenton, which is near where my cottage is, and they were having, like the last time I was there, their Haya Haya needles um, were 50% off. They're Haya Haya interchangeable. So I have one set of interchangeables. I don't have it handy. It's um, it's a very inexpensive version, and I bought it, I bought it probably got them like four years ago, and they're fine, they're fine, and it was a good thing to do when I was still not, you know, knitting a ton, and I just wanted to have, you know, different needles available, um, but for longer projects, like occasionally the, 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 the joins aren't great, the cables occasionally <laughs> have fallen apart, um, they come undone, or they catch, so, and, and the lengths of the cables is like, isn't very flexible. So they're fine and I like them and I, I use them, um, but I like the idea of being able to create my own set of interchangeables. And of course, I really like to do very teeny tiny um, needles for my, for my socks. And then I also like to do things like this, which have larger. So one set of needles would have been a, a whole lot to get that whole range. So now I'm kind of filling things in here and there with what they had. So a couple things that I got, um, I have, Couple different sets of cables. This actually isn't the right packaging, but so the pink cable is for very, very skinny needles. So it's for like your your US zero one and I think maybe up to two. Um, and because they are tiny needles, you need a tinier cable. So I have two of two of these cables with the needles to go with. I also got some larger cables. I have a couple of connectors so that I can now make any length that I want. And I also got connectors, actually I think I brought it over here. Right, so I got these. So these are 10 and a half, US 10 and a half. I use these mostly for this. And so one thing I got was, first of all, I have the, oops, wait. So the little connector, this is the teeny teeny connector that can make the, the cables different lengths. But it also comes with, there's a, ah, it also comes with two of these little um, rubber, things that allow you to really grip it in order to, 
in order to make them tighter or looser. There we go, which I found actually really helped. So this is just the straight needle. And then this here is, let's see if I can do it. I might have done it too well. Here we go. And then this is a connector because there, this is actually the medium width of cord. There's a thicker one even than this. Um, but I just bought these ones because they were the most flexible and then they had this again th These are all 50% off. So it was very reasonable and what this does is it lets me use the thicker needles with the thinner cables so it's an adapter to go from the, the thickest needles to the medium size cable and I think that makes it the most flexible for me to get that done. So these are US 10 halves. I got US 13s. I got US 15s. I have some, and then I have some small ones. If anything, I'm missing kind of the mid range. I'm missing kind of five, six, seven, eight in that, in that area. Um, so at some point I'll probably fill those in if I need them, like as I need them, I'll, I'll go and grab them. But I just kind of picked up what they had because to be able to get these really good quality needles 50% off, I thought was, was worth doing. Also at the sale uh, where I got the wool lift at Unit, they had Lina Magazine 20% off. And actually, if anyone's in Canada, um, I found Pom Pom Magazine at the Indigo and it was significantly cheaper than in the local sh yarn shops. I don't know why. I actually didn't end up buying it, but it was, I think, $25 and I think it's almost 40 in shops. Anyway, just a little tip. So I found this Lina Magazine. So when I see this, I see Len, which means wool, right? Um, so I always thought it was Len, and then it turns out it's actually Lina, which means wave in Finnish. There you go, a little, little tidbit of the day. Um, really, really beautiful stuff. Um, let me see if I can find a good one to show you. Like for instance, look at that. And some of these I, are not, I'm not yet good enough to attempt, and some of them, you know, I, I, might, I might just give them a shot, but either way, like just, a very beautiful magazine and I, I that I could do that I could do uh, so I'm not quite sure what in here I'm gonna do yet but such a beautiful magazine okay so last but not least um, I came across the Hohi Locatelli new Spectre sweater and I really love her work and I kind of attempted one or two I did a, a pair of socks from her and I did a cowl from her and then she came out with this faded sweater like a fade and I've always wanted to try a fade I kind of love the idea of it and this fade sweater requires four yarn four skeins standard skeins of fingering yarn and so I one thing I always always just completely drool over at the Purple Pearl, which is my local yarn shop, is the Julie Aslan Fino yarn. So this yarn is, I'm not going to show you yet, you have to wait. It's um, wool, cashmere, and silk. And it's just so beautiful. And it smells so good. <laughs> Oh, things that make me happy. Anyway, so I I looked at it, I'd stared, and um, the Purple Pearl has like a like a loyalty program, and I had saved up thirty dollars worth of free product or however you, thirty dollar discount, and my husband said to me, "Well, what do you want for your for for Christmas this year? What am I going to get for you?" And I said, "Well, I said if you want to get me yarn." <laughs> I know what I want and he's like okay yeah so I went to the yarn store I took pictures of the Fino line and then chose my fade and then came back bought my fade wrapped it for myself labeled it to myself from hubby <laughs> and and actually I didn't wrap it to the last minute because I kept it next to me on the couch and would just like sniff it every once in a while okay you ready to see here it is so this is my fade I, I want perfume. I seriously want perfume that smells like this. Like, like yes, it's 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 sheep, but it's it's more. She must do something to it. I don't know. It just smells so good. Okay, let me take you through one at a time. Okay, so first we have this color that's called birch. Again, my hair is on everything. This is birch. So this would be the top of the sweater, followed by pixelated. Okay, look how fun this is. Look how. Let me see if actually I'm gonna adjust. There. Okay, see how like there's different colors, like 
little bits of blue and pink and, and gold even in there. Okay, so then so that will go into that. And then this one's called Carava. And again, it's it's similar to the pixelated, but it's got a darker base. This is more of a gray base. So you can see how like these will go really nicely into each other. And then at the bottom is this midnight, I think it's called midnight oil, midnight oil. So if you saw the picture of the sweater, whoops. So if you see the picture of the sweater, this is what it's gonna look like. <laughs> Things like this make me so happy. I just, oh. So that is my huge Christmas abundance and I am hugely grateful and very excited. And I literally just keep these next to me in my little, I have a basket that was my mom's and I keep this all in a basket next to me um, in my living room and I just, uh, I like to like just look at it and pat it every once in a while. It's like patting fabric, right? Like we love to just touch fabric. It's the same thing with wool. Now, like I said, my goal, oh, one more thing I have on the way, and actually I'll, I'll try and put in a picture of this too. I think I might have told you guys that um, Craftsy was having a sale on worsted yarn. And again, um, Devin from Knitting McPearly had said that this was really cloudborne yarn. She said it was very good and good value, but that it was really exp it was really expensive to ship, to ship. Like it was cheaper but to ship it was crazy. And so it was like t over $20 between taxes and shipping. It was like $22 or something like that. And I think the wool itself was only, it was less than 40. So um, we are going to Mexico at the end of January and we're meeting some Canadian friends who live in the States. And so I, I messaged him, I'm like, can I ship wool to you and will you bring it to me in Mexico? <laughs> so he's like, yeah, totally. And he took a picture when it arrived. And so I am making the Jennifer Steingas What's the name of it? Wintersole, the Jennifer Steingas Wintersole colorwork sweater. So I've done a little colorwork exploration. I did, I started a sock. I'll put the picture in here. Oh gosh, think of my eye, you guys, driving me crazy, but I'll just try and forget about it. Ugh. I was making this uh, colorwork sock and it looks very cute in the picture and then I couldn't get it on my foot. Like I didn't do the whole thing. I did a bit more that was in the picture. Couldn't even get it over my foot, but then but but as I had moved on, like the lower part of the sock, I could. And so I think I've kind of figured out my tension issues. So I've just been practicing little bits of color work here and there. And uh, that will be my first real foray into color work. My colors are almost the same as hers. Very, very similar. And yeah, so I have, so my next projects are, I have the getting warmer cowl. I have the Inverness sweater. I have the Spectre sweater and I have the Winter Soul sweater. Those are like, that should take me through until May, easy. <laughs> if I even finish it all. I'm also going to do a little sweater for my cousin's baby and I have to finish Lily's sweater. So I kind of lost steam on Lily's sweater. I have it down here, I'm gonna go back to it. Um, I did make her a pair of pajamas, so you know, she's had something made for her, whether or not it's knit, uh, it's fine. And I think I just like the idea now of working on bigger projects and I'm sure there'll be some socks in there as well, just cause socks for me is, it's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just very relaxing and something I do while I'm doing something else and something I can do on the go. So I don't really count socks. I count, I like to knit things with different size needles at the same time because I find it just changes the movement and keeps my hands from getting tired or my, I actually find my elbow and my shoulder can sometimes get tired if I, if I do too much. So um, yeah, but I love all this stuff. I am definitely not buying anything else for quite a while until I get through a chunk of that and I'm going to be gifting as well. So if you guys um, do want to subscribe and come back, my next few knit crates, um, definitely one of those, I don't know because I don't know what I'm getting yet, but definitely one of those knit crates is going to be a giveaway. And also if you are one of the sewists watching, here's a little, um, a little tip, a little uh, preview that you're getting because you were so kind as to watch all my knitting, <laughs> is I have a giveaway coming up of fabric from Matchpoint Fabrics coming up next week. So uh, make sure you come back for that. There'll be a fabric giveaway. There'll be a yarn giveaway. Um, I just love sharing with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate it. I will, I will see you when I see you. It should be soon. Okay. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.